None of these programs work on my Windows computer. So frustrating. I wish my computer was more versatile. Hi Sonia, what's up? Hey Harry, why do you have that puzzling look? There is a nice facial recognition program that is only tested in Linux, but I do not have Linux. So, I cannot try it. So frustrating. So why don't you virtualize your computer and run Linux operating system in your Windows machine? Actually, I don't know how to do it. Okay, move over. Let me show you how. Here we go, Harry. So step one is where you need to install a software called VirtualBox and this is a software which will enable you to run multiple operating systems in your PC. So right now you can see that I am running only the Windows operating system in the background and uh, let's say that I want to run the latest uh, Raspberry Pi operating system Pixel in this PC. So how do I do that? So let's go ahead and install the VirtualBox and I'm going you can go to Google and just type install VirtualBox like that hit enter and then uh, click on this first link over here and there are different uh, the virtual box you can download it for different operating systems uh, I have Windows so I'm just gonna click on the Windows hosts and here you can immediately see that it's started downloading so uh, once it finishes download uh, you can copy it from here and paste it in your desktop so I'm just gonna cancel it and I have I already have it in my desktop so here you can see the .exe file to install the virtual box so I will open it hit run and then it's going to give you all these messages I'm installing 5.1.22 so hit next and accept all these defaults nothing to change here next accept the default hit yes and it will and then click on install and it will immediately start installing hit install again when you when when it asks you about this device driver install again install and once you get this message that means virtual box uh, installation is complete hit finish and you can see that the virtual box welcome screen has opened so that's step one. Step two, now in once we install this virtual box, inside this virtual box we will now create uh, our pixel machine or the imaginary machine. So click on machine, hit new and let's say that I want to name my operating system. Uh, I need to give a name and operating system so I'll just give it pixel. Uh, from Raspberry Pi the type is going to be Linux because Pixel is a Linux based operating system and then for version you can see a handful of versions here for Linux I'm going to go down and install the other Linux 64 bit now this part is confusing 32 64 so my 64 bit these are actually uh, a type of 64-bit is an op is is a type of operating system that can uh, handle large amounts of memory compared to the 32-bit. So I'm just going to choose 64-bit, and if you are not sure which if you have 64-bit or not, click on Start Control Panel and click on System, and here it's going to tell you whether you're running a 64-bit or a, or a 32-bit operating system. So once I have made these selections, hit next, and then it's going to ask you how much memory you're going to allocate to your new virtual machine uh, that will run Pixel. 
So I am going to make it 1024 MB. Hit next. And then you have to create a hard disk uh, inside this virtual machine. And this is where you will insert the Pixel CD. Um, and I'll show you in the next step. So just choose all these defaults, click Create and it's going to be a virtual box, box disk image which we will eventually insert. So choose the first option, Next, and then it asks you what kind of storage we want. We'll just accept the default here. You can read the different descriptions on these storage, but we'll just keep dynamically allocated. And then we are naming it as Pixel and this is the uh, hard disk, uh, the size of the hard disk in megabytes and click Create. And we already have this system here. So one thing we need to change over here is uh, the settings, right? So, so this part is already done. Now the next step is where you need to download the Raspberry Pi Pixel CD. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to type download Raspberry Pi Pixel and then it's going to give you this link um, download uh, Pixel for PC and Mac. So when you click on that, go down and you should see an image. So this is basically the image or the online CD that we will be playing inside our virtual box. So click on, once you click on download, you can see that it immediately started downloading. It's, uh, it's around 1 GB, so it's going to take about half an hour for you to download. So you can just download it from here and uh, copy it from your downloads folder to, your, to any location in your computer. So I'm going to cancel it. I have already downloaded in my documents folder in my YouTube project, VM project, and then if I click on virtual images, you can see that this is the jesse.iso. This is basically the pixel D, uh, CD that we need to play inside the virtual machine. So after this download, go back to your virtual machine, click on this pixel, click on settings, and then go to storage. And you can see that in my virtual hard drive, everything is empty. So I'm going to click on this uh, empty. And I'm going to click on this CD. And here I will insert that dot .iso uh, CD. So basically, ISO, what, what, what exactly is an ISO file, right? The ISO file is basically an online CD or disk. And we will insert this disk right now in this virtual box that we created and then run it from there. And this, this uh, disk uh, contains the Raspberry Pi uh, Pixel operating system. So let's choose that. And here is my jesse.iso. Double click on it. So we have inserted that. And now go to network and make sure your network is enabled. Otherwise, your internet will, will not work. So enable that. So all of these will be default. Change this deny to allow all. So I'm going to change this to allow all and change it back to NAT. So attach to NAT. So make sure these are all like this. Hit OK. And then we'll cl click on start. And as you can see here, it's starting my pixel operating system. Here is the welcome screen and it's loading and now here you can see the Raspberry Pi's latest pixel operating system that you can run on PCs or your Mac. So as you can see if I go to 
the sign over here it's just like another computer that that I'm running inside my uh, Windows computer so there's different programming here office tools internet games accessories etc so that's how you virtualize your PCs so I'm going to go on file and I'm going to close this machine and uh, you can see that down below here I am running the Windows machine in the back and here is my Raspberry Pi Pixel. There you go Harry that's how you do the whole thing very easy right? Awesome that's exactly what I needed I have so many options now I can try so many programs in different platforms Thanks a bunch, Sonia.